Alice is looking at Bob and Bob is looking at Charlie. Alice is married and Charlie is unmarried. So is a married person looking at an unmarried person? A yes, B no, C cannot be determined. Well, I encourage you to pause the video and think about this logic problem a bit and when you're done, you can come back for the solution. So I assume you had a go at it. So first of all, let me introduce you with a fact that uh, where I found it on the website, 96% uh, people, um, people said uh, cannot be determined, 2% said no and 2% said yes. So if you just said C cannot be determined, congratulations, you fall into the category of 96% people. But unfortunately, you're wrong because C is not the answer. The right answer, the correct answer to this problem is yes. Option A. So let me explain how. Alice is looking at Bob and Bob is looking at Charlie. First of all, we're going to uh, depict the situation in a pictorial form. So I'm going to represent Alice with A in a circle. Bob with a B in a circle and Charlie with a C in a circle and arrows to represent where they're looking at. So Alice is looking at Bob and Bob is looking at Charlie. The next thing I'm going to do is to um, write the their marital statuses. So a Alice is married and Charlie is unmarried. That's what that's what that is given in the problem. We do not know about the um, marital status of Bob. So we are going to just write unmarried slash married or whatever. We don't know. So, you know, but we do know that Bob is either married or unmarried. There is no uh, other situation that Bob can exist in. You know, the friend zone and all that shit. No, it is not like that. So that, that doesn't happen in logical situations. So we're going to talk about logic only. So first of all, I'm going to write scene one. Scene one. I hope I wrote the spelling right. I'm bad. With it. Anyway, scene one. I'm going to consider Bob married, right? And in scene two, I'm going to consider Bob unmarried, and then find out whether uh, our the overall statement is verified or not. So, in scene one, as we said, Bob either he's married or not. I'm going to first of all, uh, you know, erase the unmarried thing from here, and then look at the situation. In this case, we can see that Bob, we're considering him married. He is looking at Charlie, who is unmarried. So, married person is looking at an unmarried person, so the answer is going to be yes. Married person is looking at an unmarried person. And what about scene two, when we consider Bob unmarried? Here we are going to just write a UM with Bob, right? And now we, what we are going to do is um, look at the situation once again. Here we can see Bob is unmarried, Charlie is unmarried. No, no matter he's looking at Charlie, but we can see that Alice who is married is looking at Bob who is unmarried now. So, you know, in any case, a married person is definitely looking at an unmarried person. Here, Alice is looking at Bob. So once again, we're going to write a yes with it. So in any case, in both the cases that we wrote down, a married person is definitely looking at an unmarried person. So the answer is yes in all cases. So we can use similar logic in many other problems. Like I, um, I just found another problem that was similar, that actually had the similar logic in it, that if we have people one, two, three, four, up to 50, so if the first person is a married person and the last person, the 50th person is unmarried and we do not know about the, all the other people that are in between. So is a married person looking at an unmarried person then? Well, of course you cannot be, you know, uh, just writing down the scenarios for all those people from two to 48, but you can use a similar logic that uh, a married person is at the front. So if he's looking at the second person, and who is looking at the third person that that was given in the problem that every other person is looking at the person at the back or you could say you know the next person to it um, if we just consider the people be randomly married or unmarried there has to be a situation when a ma unmarried person would be sitting at the back of a married person right so in that case our situation will be verified however if we consider the worst case where all of these people up to 49 because 50th is unmarried if we consider all of them to be married so that no married person is looking at an unmarried person because all of them are married then of course at the end when we come to the end the 49th person will definitely be looking at the 50th person who is unmarried so our situation is once again going to be yes so it is a married person will always be looking at an unmarried person in any case that is going to happen for sure so i hope you enjoyed the logic problem i'll be coming up with more logic problems in future and i hope you figure them out thanks for watching